In today's video, we're going to Walmart to search for the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Cube. Will it suck? Probably. We are back at Walmart because guess what? They have another new mystery item, the Mystery Power Cubes. I heard from Discord, Twitter, X, Ruxin34, go follow me there, join the Discord. All these different places that they have new Mystery Power Cubes. So I'm going to check out, I'm checking out the Walmart where I don't have to wait in line behind a bunch of people. Hopefully they have them. Otherwise I'm gonna have to drive back to the other one. Let's hope not. Oh, here we go. This is what we're looking for. The mystery power cubes. They're already here. Wait, won't they have giant smashers? Speed duel. They have a lot more than the last time I came. A lot of blisters here, actually. Power of the elements. Cyberstorm. Get to the deep. How many power boxes in there? They have a lot. I might grab some of these, too. And some magic. Too bad I don't know these very well. I heard that these are kind of lit. Maybe I'll grab one of these. There's one left. I might get this. All right, guys, we are back from Walmart, and I may or may not have spent way more than I meant to. I was just going to buy the Mystery Power Cube, and they had a lot more that I was actually interested in. So we ended up spending almost $200. And we will still be opening the Mystery Power Cube, don't you worry, but I'm going to show you what else I bought. We got another, not one Mystery Power Box. We got two of these Mystery Power Boxes, and then we got a third Mystery Power Box. I figured that these would be great content later on. I might as well buy them now. They're not super cheap. I mean, 30 bucks each plus, I mean, basically 100 bucks for these three. So there were, they had seven of them available. So I was like, I'll just grab three of them because, you know, they'll probably be gone in a few months and I'll never be able to get them again. I also grabbed this Pokemon Mystery Box, which I've heard these are not terrible. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. We're probably going to open this in a video, probably against one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Boxes to see which one's better. I don't actually know. The, let me see what the price for this was. I think it was 25. So it's actually a little bit cheaper for this Pokemon box. We'll figure out five packs and a coin. So a little bit less going on in that box and Pokemon's are probably upcharge the packs be about five dollars a pack so about these mystery power cubes we did buy three of these and by the way we will be giving away one of these mystery power cubes sealed all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what your opinion is of these you know early on first impressions then if you want to add it later after you watch the video what you think of them afterwards you know what do we get out of here are they good are they better than normal because these are usually the worst product like ever made so hopefully they're better than that we're going to be opening two of these these specifically were like 1999 1993 technically interesting that they're not 1999, 1993. Inside, there appears to be, let's see, two booster packs, five bonus packs, five rare cards, and 35 common cards. I did hear from some people that some of the packs are not like horrible, horrible. They're not like star packs. So that's good. Uh, look for randomly inserted chase cards, which on the thing, they have a TP3 needle worm, which is weird. I mean, I highly doubt that's in here. We have Blackwing Armor Master Starlight, or is that the 25th? It could be the 25th. Probably not. Surely not, right? Uh, I mean, I'd take that out of one of these. That'd be pretty nice. Stratos, what is that? That's an ulti Stratos, but it doesn't look like an ulti Stratos. That's supposed to be an ulti Stratos. Okay, and then inside they have like Dawn of Majesty. Not that great. Du uh, Legendary Duelist is okay. I mean, if you're gonna, this Legendary Duelist, if you're gonna get Legendary Duelist, you probably want, um, what is it called? Legendary Duelist Immortals soul no why can't i remember what those are i can't remember and then there's yeah that, that's probably not a great pack we don't really want to get synchro storm uh that's dimension force maybe okay so that's kind of scary that those are the packs they put on there as like the best packs you can get like if those are like random and like they're kind of the average ones that's not the worst but being the best that's a little scary enough looking around let's open this thing up let's see what we can get i'm hoping that it's some i don't know i don't even know what i'm hoping for at this point because normally these are just a bunch of random cards and then like star packs. So if it's better than that, I guess that's better than normal. That's not calling it good though, obviously. Not a great product usually, but I gotta open it up and see what's inside. So let's open this cube. All right, mystery power cube. I'm not gonna, cause if you can kind of reveal what's in here. So I'm gonna put this over to the side so I don't like reveal it for you guys. There's one card at the top, slower swallow, super rare. That's almost insulting right there. That's our super so far. We have that, we have a one pack of, I guess my source was incorrect, or at least theirs didn't have star pack. Ours still has four and star pack. Okay, yeah, okay. So back to the same old, same old. Uh, that's not great. That's a, that's a rough star. Let's see if we can get anything. We have Shrek. We have, okay. okay. I don't know, a pendulum card that is in, what is this, Italian? Italian. Auto rolling star, guys. This is going really well. Uh, yeah, two star pack. Okay, we are, these are the bonus packs, I think. They're not like the, 
which I mean, I don't, this shouldn't, this isn't a bonus. This is like a negative, you know, you don't want this. This is almost, this is worse than nothing. You just have a bunch of bulk you don't want. Italian. I mean, I guess you can play these at least as long as you have the translation, but still. All right, next one is a Legendary Duelist. It's another light edition. So unfortunately, it's not even the real version of Legendary Duelist. Magical Hero, that's what it's called. It's just the first edition light edition. So what light edition is, is basically this is a, normally a five card pack. If you buy like a regular Legendary Duelist Magical Hero booster box, you get five cards per pack. In light edition, they put these in like one dollar dollar stores because they have three cards inside and you basically never get anything good, which I think I said that last time we actually pulled like a hollow, you know, because it's not guaranteed to get supers in this set. So we actually got something just pretty cool. We have a sorcerer. We did it again. OK, this is not a very expensive card, but it's actually a solid card in Dark Magician. Apprentice Illusion. What is it? It's bent. So we actually get a hollow or a super. I, I say hollow. People get mad because like that's Pokemon. You can't say I mean, it's holographic guys. Same thing. But yeah, that is that's insult to injury. So we get a three card pack rather than a five card pack. We actually pull a super and there's a crease in it. So that's unfortunate. It's a good card at least. So we'll take that. And I'm guessing the reason it's bent is because they are in the cube like this. I mean, that's I mean, probably not going to do super well for your cards, right? OK, light edition. That seems like it would be common sense, but apparently Mr. Q people. Oh, Miracle Fusion. Pretty good card. We'll take it. We have a Magician's Rod. Also a really good card. I mean, Magical Hero just has some really good Dark Magician cards and Magician's Navigation. So the good side is there's a lot of great cards in here. So I can't really complain about that. Final Light Edition. These are all the bonus packs. These are not the two booster packs you get because I guess they count bonus packs as like five card or less packs. Magical Circle. We almost have like a Dark Magician deck at this point. Halfway to Forever and... Before we pop popper up, that's not the one I was looking for. OK, another card here. We have a Valkyrie. I don't know how to say that, but that's from a it's from Mega Pack 20. So it's not that crazy. We've got two more packs. Let's go to Blazing Vortex. So pretty bad set does have potential pot of prosperity. Obviously, just got seven reprints and rarity collections. So pulling the secret out of here is not that great anymore. Pulling the Starlight would still be pretty awesome, but obviously it's about one in 10 cases to actually do that. So it's going to be tough. One, two, three. Is it four? I'm going to do four. Okay, Dream here. Dogmatica, come on. Springin's Blast, Archfiend Staff of Despair, Fabled Abank, we have Fabled Marcosi, Springin's Baranga, Radiant, and okay another super so nothing too special there unfortunately, but at least it's a full booster pack. We'll take that. Last one, last one, one more chance. Tactical Masters, okay. I love this set for a while because it had some expensive cards, but now it's just back to a regular old collector rare set. So probably not as exciting, but we can still pull collector rares. Look at the bat. Man, these cards are all so damaged. I'm just going to do it straight. We have the uh, Malice, Runic, Bear Blocker, Runic. Do we get something? Right. The bat cards, the, the hollow card. Oh boy, here we go. I think they're all, it's always a hollow, but if this is like a collector rare. It's going to be really sad. Okay, it's just a super. Okay, thank goodness. That's like worse damage than our DMG that we pulled. That's really bad. So moon in and we could bend it up a little bit. But yeah, that is that's pretty rough. So super rare. These cards are beat up. And don't worry, we still have more loose cards. That's the exciting part. It's going to be pretty rough. Let's see if we can get any card that's decent. Thrawn, shiny black. We have Stonehenge. Oh, a first edition portuguese card destruction from starter deck wow that's actually pretty cool that's pretty cool that's the, one of the coolest cards we've gotten out of these mystery cubes so that's kind of exciting it's probably not worth anything it's so pretty cool i mean call the haunted not bad let's see if there's anything squeak knight we have more rares so they at least gave us hollows instead of rares like they normally do try mid pulse that's always disrespectful for sure we have fabled we have ally mine i mean these are i will say not as bad as normal at least but they're like it's like a very small degree better but it is a small degree better okay so overall pretty terrible so far but honestly getting at least i know they weren't real hollows because they're just in they're in packs that automatically have hollows but that's better than getting a bunch of rares in packs that have rares as commons so like at least you're not getting a, I mean, you're getting it kind of as a common, but at least it's hollow foil, right? So there's that. Okay, let's open this next one, see if it's any better. Because those were not awesome, I'll say that. I'm gonna put this over here so I don't spoil it. Let's grab the first card. It is a Dynabase from a all hollow set. Not surprising there. Let's see what our next card, I'm guessing these are star pack. There's two in a row, let's just grab both of them. Yep, star pack. Okay, yeah, so right now, I mean, with the, with the bonus packs being star pack and light edition, I mean, I can't really recommend these. 
you, there's not a lot of potential here. You're getting like the best you're going to pull so far we've seen is Blazing Vortex or no, I guess maybe Tactical Master, one of those two, which are like below average sets at the moment. So that, if that's your highest potential, not really worth it. I mean, there could there is always the outside chance that there's like a randomly really good card in the extra cards. It's only happened to me one time and that was not in a mystery cube. It was in, you guys have heard, it was the Ghost Rare that I pulled. That's once five years ago. So one time out of all the products we've ever opened. So not exactly promising. We have more light edition. It looks like there's not a variance. They're mystery, but there's not a ton of variance here. So you're kind of getting the same cards. At least you are getting magical hero stuff, which is decent. I mean, Wink Rebo is cool. There's, if you like Dark Magician, there's potential there, but you could probably just get some, even though packs of this are not that cheap actually. So yeah, buying like a booster box of this is pretty expensive. Hero Lives is a great card. Another another really damaged card. Check that out. Yeah, these cards are so beat up. That's another bad part. You're probably not getting minty cards in your packs because they're unfortunately bent up, which this one is as well. Let's see. Oh, and it's an ultra too. No way. Wow, these are so rough. Oh, this is like the perfect video for these mystery cubes are a scam. Uh, Cause like, they're not technically a scam. They're not scamming you, but they are giving you a pretty rough deal cause they're giving you some rough packs. And then when you pull them, they have a bent card in them. So I got an ultra out of a light edition, which I have not, I don't know if I've ever done that. And it's like that. So that, that sucks. So unfortunate right there on the mystery power cube. I feel like they weren't normally damaged before. They've gotten worse. Like normally they're, they're really bad cards, but the packs are like bent, but the cards are not bent. This time I've had like multiple bent cards. It's kind of weird. Okay. That's a little sad because we actually finally got something kind of cool. I mean, it's not a great expensive card, but it's, I mean, it's a light edition ultra that rarely ever happens. Summon storm. That's out of another full hollow set. Let's see. We've got our two packs here. We have a tactical masters. Will it be bent again? Again, that is the question. Doesn't look like it might might have escaped this time, which is good. Senate switch, Mizuki, Lilith, Trap Trick, Book of Eclipse, Valence. Oh, and an Ultra Arion. Uh, the Labyrinth. I think this is a good the good one, right? Probably not too expensive now because of you know reprints and stuff like that. But still, one of the better. Ones. It's better than Arion, so that's the good one. That one used to be like thirty bucks. All right, we've actually gotten good pulls today. Dawn of Majesty. This is one of the chase packs, according to the front, which is a little scary. If there's a Stardust Dragon in here, that'd be so funny. <laughs> that would be one of the funniest videos ever. I, I'm down for it. I'm definitely down for it. One, two, three, four. I can't complain if that happens. We have different dimension derby. Raton, Beach River. Amaze. Any Starlight would be crazy. Kapanoko, we have a, I'm not going to try. We have Calabacus. Slower Swallow. Oh, and the Super. Whoa. Look at that. A little uh, X-Files music going on. Oh, and a Secret Arrive in Light. It's a bad secret. We're getting a lot of like bad cards other than Ariana, but they are like high rarity. I mean, honestly, we're getting crazy good pulls for actual high rarity cards out of single packs. And our last chance here are these random cards. So these mystery power cubes have been pretty bad, to be honest. But here's our last chance. See if we can get something crazy. Okay, full hollow set. Full Oh, full eyes? Not a full hollow set, technically. That's not a bad card. We have Edos. That's a full hollow set. Another one from a starter deck. Interesting. Foreign starter deck card. Out Emancipated Friends. Okay, here's commons. Let's see if there's anything. I like that they're actually giving you foils. Future Fusion as a common? Speed Duel. That's not a bad card. Okay. Polymer. Oh, these might all be Speed Duel, which actually might not be bad for some people. It, unless, well, I guess you can use Speed Duel cards regularly too. So honestly, this isn't terrible. You get a bunch of Speed Duel cards, even though it is, to be fair, probably just a giant deck stuck together from one of those things that they bought. So it's kind of eh. But honestly, not bad cards like a future fusion in there. Overall, these are garbage. You should not buy them for $20, but honestly, a little bit better than normal. I'm surprised. Still probably a quote unquote scam, as it'll probably say in the title or something, because it's just classic Walmart scam. It's not really a scam in theory. It's just really terrible value for your money. So I wouldn't recommend buying these, but I figured you guys can watch this and, you know, then you don't have to try and buy them. You don't even have to wonder because that's usually the thing with these it's like wonder what i could get from there maybe it's pretty good maybe i could get that needle worm uh this is here to show you, you probably won't shout out to tone for show daxer tomato juice puffins of doom ernesto dn america doyster supreme sage 21 cj Liu, Guine 62 Yu Gi Oh unboxed and natai show ian musa jr Barding, robert f thomas mclean and changa lang thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace